I'm not gonna roll a sneaky archer. I'm not. I, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, it's it's Skyrim 10th anniversary, um, aka 10th re-release. It, it's uh, they gave me a key. They they wanted me to they wanted me to have a key, and here it is. So more Skyrim for a little while at least. Uh, <laughs> really, what I'm here to do is check and see if there are any glitches. This is the anniversary edition of Skyrim, and I just had to download like the Creation Club items one at a time for 10 minutes before even pressing record. It is the 10th anniversary of Skyrim, and my Skyrim Switch streams were some of my favorites I've ever done. Not for the reason you think. Skyrim is all well and good. I have deep nostalgia for this game, weirdly enough. I enjoy, but I'll tell you what I like more. I like the glitches. So... <sighs> We'll see if it's, you know, working. Uh, it looks like the Creation Club stuff isn't working. So what's different here? There it is, the famous elven horse armor. Amazing. Well, it gives you a bunch of <laughs> DLCs. You know, um, stuff that would normally be free, but then... Um, I was going to say Blizzard. Wow. Bethesda uh, monetized it, but you get all this extra stuff. There's a survival mode, there's a fishing, there's some new gameplay stuff. It, it seems like a fairly extensive amount of things if you've never seen any of this before, like I haven't. Like goblins, I guess I have. You know, these things, I have th those things. Um, there's gameplay. Craft 16 variations with assorted effects. Alright. So, you know. You can see here. There's camping. I have uh, new weapons. I'm uh, not planning on purchasing anything. I mean, thank you for the code, Bethesda. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> Why me? <laughs> you saw what I did last time you sent me a code. Um... Uh, I'm lucky. I, I'm really lucky. I get sent free shit. I like that. It's nice. Thank you, video game companies. But if, if it's a glitchy mess, well. Blood Chill Manor. Dead Man's Dread. It seems like, yeah, I mean, look at all this stuff. Halls and things and stuff and things. So it just all comes with the anniversary edition. So that's a lot of new things that normally would be free um, that came with this. I, I'm not here to sell you on this. In fact, <laughs> quite the opposite. Oh, you're finally awake. I don't know how much uh, Skyrim I can handle. Whatever I did last time in Skyrim, I don't want to repeat that. I just want to dick around and, and sh uh, shoot. I mean, play. I mean, fight. There's also next-gen updates here. I'm not really sure what the next-gen stuff is. It might be, um... Draw distance. I don't know. Some, some visual stuff? Not draw distance. Maybe some post-processing. Oh. Finally awake. Hey, you. You're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? Yeah. Right into that imperial ambush. Wait, am I the Quizax Hatterack? Damn you, Stormcloaks. Skyrim was fine until you... Hang on a minute. Volume is, like... Shockingly low. And I can make the game no louder. Isn't that... That's kind of weird. Double checking some display stuff. Um, I already set the graphics to as high as possible, so I'm gonna put my. No, I don't want. No, don't log me in. Oh God, please don't. No, 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 no. no. What are you doing? 
I don't think the usual mods work here. It's only two difficulties? Oh, no, no. Um... I'll just do expert difficulty. That's fine. Let's see if that works out for me. And, uh... Yeah. Let's see. I see the UI is still confusing and weird. Like, I'm trying to go to general stats and quests. I guess I can't yet. Was nice and lazy, but they hadn't been looking for you. Subtitles. Hmm. I'm gonna need them because I can't even fucking hear this game, and I have the volume completely maxed out. Could have stolen that horse and been halfway to Hammerfell. You there? Oh my god! Did I not dialogue sub general subtitles? Maybe. You and me, we shouldn't be here. It's the Stormcloaks the Empire wants. We're all brothers and sisters in binds now. I would love an option to just skip the intro to Skyrim. Watch your tongue. You're speaking to Ulfric Stormcloak, the true High King. Ulfric? The Jarl of Windhelm? You're the leader of the rebellion. But if they captured you... Oh, gods. Where are they taking us? I don't know where I don't know. But Sovereign Guard awaits. No, this can't be happening. This isn't happening. Hey, let me give you a little background if you, the viewer, are unaware of... Is this the next gen stuff? Ugh. So, I played Skyrim day one. Never beat it. Uh, liked it. Put a, t you know, a bunch of time into it. It's Skyrim. So, of course, you know, it's, it's, you know, everyone knows Skyrim. And, uh, then I got sent the Switch version years later, and I streamed it. I was gonna do it, like, one time, and it became a series because it was fucking hilarious. Dalmor are with him. I bet they had something to do with this. I unlocked a new voice while I was playing that game. Delvin Mallory. Gregor Mallard. Something like that. This is Helgen. I used to be sweet on a girl from here. Wonder if Vila is still uh, this that need with Juniper Bear. The fucking intro dialogue is at this point is iconic. When I was a boy, Imperial walls. And it, iconic in the sense that it makes me laugh. Listen, this isn't a true next-gen update unless the horse shits. But yeah, now it's being released on the newer consoles, which nobody can find because I'm convinced they don't even exist. Inside the house. Now. Yes, Papa. And it's like two generations later, and this is the quote-unquote next-gen update. Why are we stopping? It looks Why like Skyrim. Maybe my memories betray me, and I, I thought the original looked better than it did. Let's go. Shouldn't keep the gods waiting for uh, us. I just want to skip the damn intro. We're not rebels. Face your death with some courage, thief. You've got to tell them we weren't with you. This is a mistake. Step towards the block when we call your name. One at a time. <sighs> Empire loves their damn lists. Ulfric Stormcloak. Place your Ulfric bets on the first glitch. It has been an honor. Jarl Ulfric. Maybe the textures have some quality to I mean it's better than the Switch version for sure. But can you play this in the palm of your cock? I don't think so. No, I'm not a rebel. You can't do this. You will be able to with the Steam Deck, which has been delayed two months, which is you know fair enough. Wait. You there. Step forward. Who are you? Me, I am a Nord. Um... I don't know. I was an Argonian, right? That one time? I think I was uh, an Argonian. Stealth and magic skills. I, I want to avoid stealth at all costs. Because I don't, I don't want to be a cat. 
I don't want to be a cat. Orc troops and heavy armor are among the finest in the Empire. I think an orc might be funny. How do I want to play this, though? Because I don't want to do magic, because I know I'm not going to enjoy the magic. So I, I had a Argonian. Breton. Dragon skin to absorb spells. Dark elf. Surround them. They're resistant, resistant to fire. Um. Oh, shit. I don't know. Regenerate magic. High elf might be fun. Khajiit can see in the dark. I don't. I don't want to be a cat. I don't, don't want to be a cat. Animals can fight for them. Yeah, let's be an orc. Fuck it, orc. Let's see what kind of. Uh, I want to be a very f uh, silly orc. I'm going to be, like, real green. Let's see how... Dirt. Uh, dirt color. Right, scars. I don't know how I got these scars. There we go. More paint. <laughs> Do I name the character Vork? little minimal war paint will be fine. I, I don't need a lot of war paint. You know, we, we haven't seen many battles. That's good. I'm fine with that. Face. Oh, I can get a real goblin-y motherfucker. I, oh, I can make the thing from Troll 2. I'm gonna try to make shit eyes from Troll 2. Hang on a minute. I don't know if I'll be able to do it. Hang on. Shit eyes. Troll 2. I have a feeling this is going to be a little difficult. Let's see. Shit eyes. I, uh, it's the first result, but I want to get a better picture of, of shit eyes. Alright. Yeah, I got something here. I got something. Alright. I'm, I'm going to show you. And I'm going to try to match it somewhat. So that's, that's, uh, the infamous shit eyes. Alright, so nose height, we want nose down. Let me just double check that I got the nose correct. Because... Yeah, it's probably... Yeah, that, that's, that's alright. That's close enough. Okay, something like that's fine. Nose length. I'm gonna need to max that out. There we go. There we go. Jaw width. Not doing anything, not worried about it. Jaw height. Jaw forward. Jaw forward, probably not too much. Cheekbone height. They, they droop. Cheekbone width. It's fine. Cheek color. Doesn't matter. Laugh lines. Eh, alright. Cheek lower color. Cheek nose color. It's fine. Chin color. I can't see that. Neck color. Right. Forehead color. There we go. That's that's fine. Eyes. What are the shittiest eyes we can do here? The biggest, shittiest eyes possible. I can't- I kinda can't get the, the eyes the way I want them. Look at that. Beautiful, that. Oh, I love it. further apart. Okay. Eye depth. Probably want to push them out a little bit. I don't think we're going to get too close. Ugh. 
but that's not terrible. I mean, those are kind of shitty. Remember, there are no trolls in Troll 2, just goblins. That's fine. That really isn't doing anything, that's fine. Okay, shitty mouth I need. I can't believe, like, I'm actually uh, close enough that I can kind of almost see it. Which, honestly, should not be the case. Oh, that's kind of scummy. I think I'm okay with that. That's, that's pretty scummy. Brilliant. Oh, look at that beautiful face. That's a nice face. Chin width. I like that. It's not quite shit eyes. But I think it's it's pretty good. Let's see, the hair might help. Uh I don't think we're gonna get like that close in that sense, but I can I can do that. that that's fine. Facial hair. Oh man, the the beauty of this of this orc right now. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. I can do that. Ah, that's not bad. Wow, what a disgusting character I've made. That's nice. Question is, do I want to keep those th that all the way there? No, we can't. We can't have any chin. It stares into your soul. This whole time I've been making this character, you've had to look at this Troll 2 mask. It's a classic, actually. I mean, like, fans of Troll 2 know what's up when it comes to shit eyes. Mm. I'm going to say that that looks about right. Bring the mouth back a little bit. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Make sure I've got the proper mouth for this. One that I'm not going to regret later. I don't know, I like the extra fang. Because it makes the, the lips like real big and nice. So <laughs> I'm good with that. Yeah, I am good with that. Finish and name your character. Yeah, sure. Vork. You from one of the strongholds, Zork. How did you end up here? Captain, what should we I guess I should get this off the screen. Forget the list. He goes to the block. By your orders, Captain. I'm sorry. We'll make sure your remains are returned to Osinium. Follow the captain, prisoner. I mean, the anti-aliasing is definitely working. Ulfric Stormcloak. 
Some here in Helgen call you a hero, but a hero doesn't use a power like the voice to murder his king and the voice. his throne. You started this war, plunged Skyrim into chaos. I now see Dune now in the most Empire fiction. Is going to put you down and restore the peace. What was that? It's nothing. Carry on. Yes, General Tullius. Give them their last rites. As we commend your souls to it. Ten years without a new Elder Scrolls. The eight divines upon For the love of Talos, shut up and let's get this over with. As you wish. Come on! I haven't got all morning! Do it, do it, do it. Smiling at me, Imperials. Can you say the same? Well, now that he did it, I don't... I don't feel good about it anymore. Next gen horse eating. As fearless in death as he was in life. Next, the orc. I'm gonna be honest. In some ways, this game as an open world. Did you hear that? In in some ways, Next, it hasn't been topped. Nice and easy. I, I mean that. And maybe that's a controversial thing to say. In many other ways, it has been. But there's something indelibly Skyrim. Granted, I haven't played. Dragon's Dogma. I haven't played all the games that were birthed of this. And obviously The Witcher 3 is a fantastic game. What do you see? But there's there's the reason one of the reasons this game is so fucking glitchy is because it is so ambitious, especially when you consider like even approaching a game like this is real tough. Like look what happened with Cyber Cyberpunk. I'm just going to assume everything's a glitch. Is this uh, next-gen everything blurry? Because that would be cool. Can we turn that off? Oh. Could the legends be true? Legends don't burn down villages. First glitch is unremovable blur. Okay, now it's okay. it's gone. Up through the tower. Let's go. Need to double check something here. You can't really change too much. You know, you have to go back to before you start the game, and then you can change more things. If you want to stay that way, Gunnar, take care of the boy. I have to find General Tolias and join the defense. God's guide you, Hedvar. I don't know who I sided with last time. I think it was the Stormcloaks. Stay close to the wall! It, it's, it's sometimes pretty nice looking. For you know, a game of its age, this isn't. What are you? What are you doing? Get off! What are you doing? This uh. The game already looked pretty good, and it didn't need a full overhaul. So some more environmental effects and post-processing. That's all well and good. But most of it is intact. It's not the GTA remasters, which... Oh, that's a conversation. You, come on! Into the keep! With me, prisoner! Let's go! We've got to get inside! I think... Looks like we're living. Let me make sure. Hang on, I'm gonna pause it. 
I don't know what I chose, uh, because part one of my Skyrim stuff is not the intro. We should keep moving. Come here. Let me see if I can get those bindings off. There's that depth of field. There you go. Take a look around. There should be plenty of gear to choose from. I'm going to see if I can find something for these bones. Bones. What do you mean, bucket? You better get some gear. See if one of these chests has some armor for you. No, no, can you stand still for it? Sorry. See if one of these chests has some armor for you. Ooh, I don't want bucket. They should have uh, got one of the mod inventory See upgrade. Chests oh god, I know. I know. Yeah, one one of the uh, inventory mods would have probably helped. Armor on. Give that sword a few swings too. Let's keep moving. That thing is still out there. Oh yeah, orc skin. Man. It's weird. It's weird because I, I this game is has like such a meme, and there's so much about about it that's shitty. But when I get that first sword in Skyrim, hear that. the feeling is almost unmatched. It, it makes me want to stab. That's the <laughs> Your stamina is low. Oh right, there's stamina. Sorry, Stormcloaks. Uh, I, I apparently sided with the Imperials. No hard feelings, eh? It's just for the sake of variety. That's it. Now we're talking. I'm not going to be a sneaky archer this time. I'm telling you, it's not going to happen. I'm going for full orc, hand-to-hand, -hand, barbed... to uh, barbed combat. I'm going to be the best. Potions. Okay. Th those barrels? Can't wait to loot everything and then get upset because my inventory is too large and then not do any proper inventory management because I've. <gasps> I'm like, oh, well, I'm gonna need that plate that I collected. Definitely gonna need the plate. That's important. Oh, the Alto wine that I collected early on? Man, yeah, I definitely need that. How about that basket? Ah, oh, salt pile. For sure I'm gonna need that. Harvest rabbit. Done then. This way. The torture room. God, so we pay that. Some nice looking lightning. I got enough of that. 
I like how even though that that dude uh, died, he got one more shot in. You fellows happened along. It's like you know what? Well, we can we can probably get one more nice hit in. These boys seem to be Listen, I'm an orc. This is probably the way I'm meant to play orc. Double axes, big barbed, fat, fucking plumpy um, maces, stuff like that. You know. We got favorites. So clear. Ah, yes, I'm getting all of this cool lore that I've that I've needed. Open with some picks. We'll need everything we can get. Yeah, I, I know how to do the thing. Take all my things. I'm somewhat of a of a Skyrim expert. Grab what you can and let's go. Magica. Uh, I, I could never bring myself to doing a magician build of any kind. I tried a couple times. I just get bored of it. I don't want to do it. It's not very powerful when I'm using it. I don't know what I'm doing to make it more powerful. And then, like, you have to, you know, do alchemy and stuff. And I'm just, like, I want to shoot arrows. I'm not going to do it this time, though. Plenty of doors to practice on. Todd is smiling from above. Very pleased in his uh, omniscience. Well, the player just got lockpicks. They're going to want to do some more lockpicking. So, yeah, you know, give them give them some things. Give them some doors. No. This way. No. I need um how do I world map. I need to know how to third person. F. Yeah. I always felt like this could have used a little bit more work. Is uh the way that the third person view doesn't on, feel Mario. particularly good when in combat. Like, I get that that would take maybe a lot of extra effort, but to me, the third person was always just fine. It didn't feel like you were playing a third person action game. It occurs to me now. That potions should be... Hmm. Can't you set things to, like, numbered slots? 
Am I crazy in remembering that? <laughs> I've got flames. I've got powers. Berserker Rage. Take half damage. Do double for 60 seconds. All right. I guess healing is always a good thing to have on your favorites, but I could... Ah, man. Isn't there a way to do that? Like set number shortcuts? How do I berserk a rage? It's a bow. I'm not gonna do it. It's arrows. I'm telling you, I'm an orc. What? How do you be a sneaky archer orc? I mean, what would even be the point? It just sounds dumb. Like, here's this, like, orc lad trying to sneak around with a bow. Like, no, that's not, that's not how that works. I'm telling you, it's not gonna happen. But yes, I could use an increase in FOV. Let's see where this goes. Good lighting. Is this the uh, cave with the bear? We'd better push on. I'm sure the others will find another way out. Mm -hmm. He's playing Skyrim for the fourth time, maybe fifth. Da, 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 da. What a shock. More Skyrim. Same Skyrim. Sneaky Archer. Not going Sneaky Archer. Telling you I'm not going Sneaky Archer. Don't want to do Sneaky Archer. Tell me how to live my life. Where'd you come from? What next, giants? I like how, like, that was almost a wink to the audience, thus taking the viewer and player out of the world. egg sack. I was kind of hoping one of the, the new pieces of gear would be in there. Not gonna be a sneaky archer. Don't want to be a sneaky archer again. I've done that thing 30 times. Don't want to do it anymore. The game should have more ways to play than just to stealth around and shoot things with a bow while in stealth. Don't want to be a sneaky archer. Time to kill a bear with a bow. <laughs> of course I am the sneaking type. I just snuck. You saw it? It was snuck? I was- I, Bear is dead because I snuck. Otherwise, that would have gone much more poorly. Much, much ungood. 
All right, let's uh, grab some bear meat. It's weird playing Skyrim with good frames. After having gotten used to it. Otherwise. What? Oh, I think I stepped on a bone. That's the most realistic thing that could happen in Skyrim, is you taking damage when stepping on a bone. Look at it, there it is. Need to eat, sleep, and stay warm. Additional challenge such as no fast travel, reduce carry weight, leveling up limit. No. Wait. No, no, no. I mean, it's there as a challenge. It's not it's not for me. Looks like he's gone for good this time. But I don't think we should stick around to see if he comes back. Closest town from Harry's Riverwood. My uncle's the blacksmith there. I'm sure he'd help you out. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Not gonna be a sneaky archer. Oh, sorry. Closest town from here. It's probably best if we split up. Good luck. I wouldn't have made it without your help today. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Straight up buster. Hello. I'm warning you. Back off. No, no. All right, I'm, I'm backing up. All right, all right. I'm warning you. Back off. Okay. All right, I'm good. We're we're all friends here. It's a bad time to get lost, friend. Oh. Don't know how to use the Berserker Rage. Z. You picked a bad time to get fucked, friend. You're not going to be a sneaky archer either. So that um, depth of field blur is real kind of annoying, huh? Whoa! Whoa! 
Did I miss a shout already? I'm gonna go for stamina. Because I've been attacking and losing stamina. Lacking it, even. Increases armor rating for heavy armor by 20%. Heavy armor, heavy weapons. I am Orc. Jank. Don't ask me yes every time, just do it, you know? Um, well, I, I finished reading Dune. And I'm sorry if the Dune references just keep happening, um, but I can't help it. I thought it was amazing. Really, really loved it. The writing was really good. That's my English major review. It was really good writing. It went in directions I didn't expect. And it really does kind of change the way you, you think about thinking in some ways. The life of adventure and song is the life for us, eh, friend? Teach ah, me about speechcraft. After a little incident with a roguish lad, I'm afraid not. But if you're serious about sharpening that for a generous fellow traveler, but of course, what would you like to hear? The Dragonborn comes. Blessing on you. Our hero, our hero. Ah! What do you think you're doing? Die, damn you! Oh, this dude's powerful. Fuck. <laughs> I love a challenge. Sorry. Sorry, I just meant to get to the um the thing, the blessing stones. Oh there they are. I didn't I didn't mean to do any of that. Sorry about that. Is he still going on about stuff? Oh fuck. Help me. Help me. Thanks. Maybe if we work together, we can discover the secret. Thank you, Fisherman. Th this has been a very advantageous friendship, M Mr. Fisherman. Nice. All right, cool. Uh, steel sword already. Got some fish, got some books. Clothes and boots. I could... Yeah, we'll take those. Man, that's fantastic. Fisherman, you okay? I'm not here to hurt you. Alright, 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 alright. It's yours. Victory is ours. Victory is ours. Go ahead and take that. Fishing map, Falkreath. So that's again the, the fishing stuff. Uh. I'm playing a good character who is of just, of noble lineage. That's my headcanon for my character here. Mortal blood, bad book, nothing. Uh, 
spell tome sparks though. Okay. Treasure map one. There's a treasure very close to Riverwood over there. Okay, good to know. Um I was almost positive you could assign stuff to numbers. Quick inventory. Favorites. I don't know. Always run is caps. Run is shift. Shop powers. Hmm. Didn't you submit? Please don't kill me. Do I have to beat you with your own fishing rod? Please, mercy. And mercy you shall have. Alright. I see where this is going. Does this count as the first glitch? Oh, I'm actually- hang on a minute, I was holding the corpse. Uh, it's a little scummy. It's not too bad, but it's definitely scummy. No scummier than the Switch version thus far. The world has been rid of Bard. Removing Bards from the world one at a time. At least they're not jesters. I was waiting to feel the vibration, like Animal Crossing, and then I remembered there's no fucking vibration on my mouse and keyboard. He's a little jank, truthfully. It's fine. The fishing. It, it's... it's fine. Okay. What happened? Why is the game not capturing? That was weird. Oh, I know why, because I, I used the mouse wheel. And weirdly enough, I was like not focused in the game window. And so it selected different sources. If that makes any sense to anybody out there. Okay. Uh... I have the steel sword now. I will activate the warrior stone. I'm not going sneaky archer. However, I am going to Riverwood.
Oh, I wonder if that bard's corpse has gotten this far. Hmm. You don't want to fuck with an orc. You just don't want to do it. Ah, scummy blood blade. Still. I probably delivered this exact comment however many years ago it was, but... Is this where the hobbits hid from the, the, the Nazgul? To finish um, my thoughts on finishing Dune. Again, it was great. It went in some unexpected directions. It got real weird. And then it it ended up being pretty satisfying. And it, it really solidified the anti-hero thing. Not even anti-hero, but just a deeper appreciation for the fact that it wasn't just your stock standard hero's journey and it made you think about it and religion and uh, methods of control and all kinds of interesting topics that it, it handled really really well take this and hold on to it I'll be back for it later I'll pay you good don't lose it no time to talk Snitch or double cross me and I'll kill you. I mean it. Okay. Now it's Legolas. So yeah, it reminded me of actually some of the Lord of the Rings writing, but it did different things. Also, big a dragon. I saw a dragon. What? What is it now, mother? It's kind of interesting how this book is this massive in scope story. I've only read the first book, right? So I'm going to read Dune Messiah, which I hear is very good. And voice crack. And I'm going to read that. But I'm going to throw a little bit of shade at George R. R. Martin and say, man, I wish he was able to finish his books the same way that that book ended where like this big massive thing with lots of you know revenge and you know the families um lots of betrayal and a lot of uh you know prep to this big conclusion and it worked in one book it all paid off whereas i feel like george just let his uh, his books balloon and bloat to these massive massive things that he couldn't even figure out how to finish. And it sucks because I, I would have loved that conclusion. But to me, the, um, the first Dune book built a really great world. A really fucked up world in an interesting way with relatable... Well, not even relatable. I mean, somewhat, but characters that you don't feel are aliens for how weird the world is. And, um, it just all comes together very nicely at the end. So, I like the book. I like Guild Navigators and uh, the Spice Melange. What's going on with you? Yes? You think you can take me? No. Oh. I mean, yes, but... The fuck is your problem? Yeah, it's Skyrim, all right. So some things really never change.
Where are you going? Victory is yours, I submit. I'll mount your head on my wall. Oh, he had some wine on him. That explains so much. He belongs to the river now. That's how you do it. I don't know what that noise was, but... Healing, I'll put on... Z zero. Or uh, nine. No. Nine? Eight? I guess you can't do nine. Eight. Yeah, I'll have uh, healing on eight. Longbow will be on... Six, because I don't want it to be too e too easy to use that. I want it... You know, like, I don't want to be able to go over and sneaky archer my way through the game too easily. Because that could very easily uh, happen. It's not going to, mind you. Not going to be a sneaky archer. Not this time. Oh, uh, there's, tre there's buried treasure somewhere. It's over there. In that tree stump I was looking at earlier, I think. I can't wait to see what Denis gonna do with part two because there's some really amazing visuals that I got in my head from the second half of the Dune book that he nailed for part one. Granted, the book is better because, y y you know, it is, it just is. That's how books work in a lot of ways, because you get more details, you get character thoughts, motivations. But he did a really good job at translating more than just the bare essentials, but also just the, the emotional feel of the world. The, the way that it makes you feel while you're reading it, I feel like he got on the screen. And I'm really curious to see what he's going to do with part two, because there's some cool shit in part two, in the second half of that book. And I hear Dune Messiah might even be a little bit better. So, who knows? Okay, I'm done talking about it now. For now. But, yeah. Good shit. Why do you people have the same voice? Alright, there's one voice actor. Did you hear? The river would tr By shore, what do you want? <laughs> it's Riverwood. River Wood no, Trader. Has to do something. I said no. No adventures, no theatrics, no thief chasing. Put the bucket on the head. What are you going to do then, huh? Well, Let's hear it. I overheard, but the River Wood Trader is still open. Feel free to shop. Well, you're here, so I can't steal, but... The lighting is nice. Truthfully, I mean, look at this great scene here with all the garlic and the lighting and the candles and the cheese and the bucket on the head. Dude's ready to join a rock band. The Riverwood Trader is everything you need in a general store. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasures. Going to sell... Gold 31 removed. No, 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 no. Oh, oh I just lost a bunch of gold. Ah. Oh. That's fucking lame.
Okay. Uh, I better get back to cleaning the Really wish I didn't buy that fishing rod before before selling it again. Door. What a mess. Proper shit eyed orc right here. Damn, that's a lot of food. My orc has many recipes memorized. Vork. My it's gonna take some getting used to that name. Happy. Uh, yeah, we, we did have an ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Oh, right, you the claw. Could. I've got some coin coming in from my last shipment. I remember it's the claw. If you bring my claw back. This guy likes his claw. Show those thieves not to steal from Luke and Valerius. <laughs> I think I have a few old spell books laying about. If you want more, you'll have to go to the College of Winterhold. Oh, backpack. Um, carrying capacity increased by 75 points. Now that is fantastic. This increases your stamina by 20 points to have that backpack. That is also fantastic. What does the bedroll do? Imperial backpack with bedroll, leather backpack. Yeah, the backpack stuff is great. Thief backpack with bed roll, uh, a bedroll. Um, lock picking is fifteen percent easier. Man, this is this is a cool little addition. I'm fine with that. Just another way to um, carry more shit and also have some. Stuff. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Bows do more damage. Mm. Brawlers. Uh, no, we don't want those. Do just the backpack itself. Spell tome. Oak flesh. Armor rating is increased. Ray zombie fury. Fishing map white run miscellaneous. Uh, well, I'm gonna go have to get your fucking claw so I can. Now, if you're going to get those thieves, you should head to Bleak Fall. You know, gotta get the the claw so I can get some money so I can get more stuff. Barrow, northeast of town. Yes. So now you don't have to go, do you? Oh, really? Well, I think your new helper here needs a guide. Uh, no, I... By the eight, fine. But only to the edge of town. This way. I really hope I don't become addicted to Skyrim again. Because we have to go through town and across the bridge to get to Bleak Falls. Because I don't want to. You can see Ain't every day we get visitors in Riverwood. Of course. Take what you need. Take There's something you could do for me. For all the Jarl needs to know if there's a dragon on the loose. We need to get word to Jarl Balgraf in Whiterun to send whatever soldiers he can. If Why did that, that plate on the table just get up and move on its own? I'd like to armor my horse. I don't even have a horse. Cross when you get to Whiterun. Just keep going up. When you... All right, then. It's nice to be back in a friendly spot, huh? Listen, I'm going to lay up here for a while. You can make your own way to solitude from here. Be careful on the way to solitude. Damn storm cloaks could be anywhere. Hmm. The 
Them damn storm cloaks, right? May the gods watch over your Definitely wasn't a storm cloak in a past life. Where did that guide go of mine? I need iron ingot. Oh man, I got no ingots. New weapons and stuff. Iron new armor. Iron fittings. More backpacks. I don't know all of the new stuff, but like I said, there was a lot. There's like hundreds of new items. I say new, but it's just stuff the community made. Yeah, I can't do anything with this. I, I like how my orc pretended to do things, when in reality he was not doing nothing of value whatsoever. Grindstone. Can improve my hunting bow. Sure. Not that I'm going to be a sneaky archer or anything. It's not going to happen. Not a great plan. Last witness killed. Five bounty removed from, from White Run. Killed? Who saw it? What other bird saw that? Speaking of, why did the chicken cross... Why did the chicken go under the world? The fuck was that? That was Skyrim. That was Skyrim. Set destination. Get my claw back. You sloppy... Bunt fuck. Bunt. What are you doing, Hod? No, 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 you don't want to fight me. I'm telling you, you don't want to fight me. We, we don't want to do this, because... That would be bad. I killed a chicken. I was hungry. I wanted chicken nugget. You have to let it go. Let it go, let it go, let it snow. You, you know the song. This is the first quest everyone does. Okay, maybe not everyone. I don't know. I don't know about you, chat member and viewer. But I've done this quest pretty much every time. I'm not going to be a sneaky archer. Just softening them up. Wow. Jank. Now ain't this a surprise? 
I wasn't expecting to revisit Skyrim. Even though I said I would with mods, I guess this counts. I wasn't gonna do it though, because I, I went back to regular Skyrim, and it was glitch as fuck. There's a clip, or like, um, a couple minute video that I uploaded of just all the glitches, and apparently it's tied to frame rates. Which means that when you go 60 FPS, Skyrim starts glitching. As if it wasn't glitchy enough. So I... I played it, and I made some video content there of it. And yeah, it was it was pretty rough. And I decided, well, that's, that's enough of a visit. I don't need to continue. N no more Skyriming needed. And then when this was sent my way, it's like, ah, fuck. Fine. You... you bastard. Who's the bastard here? Todd? Bathosdo? Anyone? Activision? Costello? Stewie. While I cannot specifically pinpoint all of the visual changes, allow me to say that this does look pretty nice. I want to see what White Run looks like in particular. That's going to be the litmus test. And the area around White Run, which I always thought looked great. Best magic in the game right here. Damn it. My shield needs to be, uh, favorited. Yes, the- yeah, yes. This is the place, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Go for health this time. Um, how, how much am I specking into heavy armor? Heavy armor, uh, well-fitted. Requires 30. Unarmed attacks do more damage. Okay, well, we don't need to do that. Let's do, uh, uh, ooh, ooh, uh Two-handed. I'm, I'm gonna play- I'm really gonna try to play the part. One-handed, two-handed, heavy armor, the usual. Anyway, let me use this bow. It's just brutal. Oh. 
one hit. Immediate cool animation. Skeever is such a good name for these things. many hundreds of scrolls one may acquire in a playthrough and never use. There's an FOV slider before I boot this game up again, if I do so. Listen, if I hadn't just played the Switch version, I'd absolutely do a full playthrough of this. I just don't think I have it in me. I've already scrummed as much as I want. But I mean, even my playthrough on the Switch... There's areas I've never seen. Except they say they yield and then they get back up and fight a minute later. So yeah, I don't I don't buy that. Sorry. And also, you know, homie don't play that. Stay woo woo is it a one handed? Yeah. I like swords too much to become like an axe main. Love getting poisoned in video games. So cool. So cool. Chris had a so cool. Chris had a so cool. Serpent. Eh. Fish. Serpent, serpent, fish. is the way of scrum the babby puzzle one must accomplish early on pickpocket I'm not gonna be a sneaky archer not doing it it's weird how sometimes this game really does look great, and then other times it's like, oh, right, it is 10 years old. So, I didn't play whatever was the last next-gen upgrade that they did, whatever that was. I didn't have that version. So, the only version of Skyrim I had played, aside from the Switch version, was Day 1 Scrum. So going uh, from that, specifically the Switch version, to this version, I'm like, oh, this is pretty, pretty decent.
working on it. Uh, listen, this is just a great way to attack this particular enemy right now. Calm yourself, I'm here. Yeah, I'm, I'm desiccating, I'm defecating on the corpses or whatever. Def, de, de, desecrating. Where's the golden claw? I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door in the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Does it look like I can move? You have to come. It's coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. I might share the treasure with anyone. Dipshit. I just... I saved you. We go through this every couple years. Every couple years, it's the same dog and pony show. It's the same song and dance. We learn nothing. I forget that you're a be you betray. You die. The claw. It's not. It's not a good cycle. We got to break the cycle of violence. With more violence! More like Arvel the Stiff. That wasn't a penis joke. It's just his dead body. It's, like the, it's a rigor mortis. It's a Rick and Morty joke. Ah! 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 Oh, jeez, I don't know, prick! Oh. Okay, now I've got one in each of my main focuses. Oh, Rick! Rick, Rick why, why, why? What button was it to do, uh, to activate the shadow oh, Z? Power's gonna be used once per day. All oh, right. nice. Join your friend. Now they're hugging. Well, as much as I like swords, this is an upgrade. Gotta do the work. Uh, steel War Axe. No. Ancient Nord Battle, Ancient Nord War. Uh. I think there's an Ancient Nord Sword. There's a Nord sword, and that's not the dude that interviews famous musicians.
somewhere. One of them. One of them. Ignored mace. No, not quite. Give me the good shit. Need the sword. You would think, as an orc, I would try to roleplay this character as loving axes. But let me ask you a question. <laughs> let me... Let me just say this. A sword is a fine weapon. It is a noble weapon, and it looks cool. And I like it better than axes, and I always have. And man, I wish the movement speed in this game was faster. And I know there's a way to get uh, faster, but... Gotta figure out how to do that. Stop that. And a lot of those crazy death animations. Nope. <laughs> you stay down. Yes, Ken Skrokal. That's correct. Good. You can talk. That's nice. Nice vocal cords. Ken Skrokal. Can you talk? Yeah, I guess you probably can't now. Ancient Nord Bull. Ancient Nord Arrows. Ancient Nord Condom. Ancient Nord Great Sword. <laughs> I don't know, like the axes are always one more powerful than the swords. It's like, is there a speed difference at least? Is, you know? Because, like, you know, in, in real RPGs, when you, uh, have weapons and different types of weapons, some are a little slower, some are a little faster, there's pros and cons. Attacks cost less stamina. Attacks with battle axes cause extra bleeding. I guess there's this. This is different. Great swords can do critical. Champion stance can turn into devastating blow and great critical charge. Sweep. Paralyze. Hmm. Seems like a good one. I'm going to try to, as much as possible, focus on two-handed. One-handed will definitely have points in it, too, but two-handed is something I don't think I've done a lot of. I've always done one-handed weapons. I think that would be a fun thing to try. Look at the power of this orc. Of Vork.
the sheer strength of shit eyes, the orc. We're going that way. I forgot how long this dungeon was. I just wanted to get to White Run. Oh, there's the ancient Nord's sword. Nord sword. I guess it weighs less. There's always that. That extra carry weight is a fucking godsend, by the way. Here, maybe? There is a choice. I've been playing games where you could just zip zoom around at such a speed. Run you through. Yeah, it looks like shit. Skyrim has never left us. Try as we may to escape Skyrim. It has not escaped us. It's like that old, reliable, like, friend that may not... You, you don't want to see them all the time. But when you do, they sometimes glitch. Again, the goal is to just get to White Run. And it's late. And I'm actually playing this. This is not an early uh, recording. Like, I've been doing most of my stuff around noon or 1 a.m. Uh, 1 a.m. 1 p.m. Because my sleep schedule has been unfucked. All those years of me saying I could unfuck it and then not being able to do so. Turns out it was all streaming related. And I'll tell you why. Well, not all streaming related, there's other reasons too, but it's... It was heavily skewed towards streaming. And one of the main reasons for that... Is that I would delay the streams... Because I would get home, and you know, from the studio or wherever... And I'd not want to stream right away. Or right after dinner. Hang on a second. So I would do that. And then I would end up, uh, someone got banned, sorry. No, I'm not, this isn't even live. Prescient banning. But I would do that, and then my schedule would just continually go later and later and later. Because, um, 
I would want to start late. Oh, so much for stealth. I wonder if this gold is still legal tender. Now, how great would that be with dismemberment physics? Bethesda... Gotta get... Another special edition of Skyrim. Complete with dismemberment physics. You know people would buy it. Hell, people bought the Alexa version. I don't think you can buy that version. Right. I had forgotten about that. Is it not moth bear? Owl? Guess I need to go back to the fucking drawing board. That looks like an owl to me. Kind of. That looks vaguely bear-like. I don't know. Bear. Uh, how is it that I've played this game this many times and don't know how to do this puzzle still? Moth. Bear. Something. I don't know. Like moth, bear, owl. That's my guess. Ah, wrong button. Fuck. Uh... It looks like a bear. That- that's moth. Doc. Said the moth. Doc. So here's, um, moth. Here's... Bear. Here's owl. And then there's fire, right? So moth, bear, owl. Mm-hmm. That's nice. That is nice. <laughs> I 
Uh. Okay. Oh, I got it this time. Don't worry. Wasn't kidding. Game is fucking top loaded. All the cool puzzles are at the beginning of the game. not wearing iron boots at this very moment. Yeah. Alright, I'm, I'm a little tired, so I don't want to miss the shout. Dragon souls required, right. Oh, it speaks. This one speaks too. That's nice. Back into your, your crevice where you belong. Dragonstone. Target takes five points of frost damage to health and stamina. Okay. So, what the fuck is a dragonstone? I can't tell if that is a new thing. Uh, already, my inventory is a clusterfuck. I've been playing for two hours. You cannot equip this item. Uh, alright. I know my orc has heavy, heavy armor on. Heavy armor. But man, run faster, orc. No excuse. Heavy armor. Massive heavy armor. That weighs many, many pounds. No excuse. Just run. You, your legs are only as swift as your face. See, now I have a skull in my inventory that is not needed. I'll scroll all the way down. You never know when you're going to need a wake and stoned or or uh, or child. You never know. Okay, now it's daytime. Mm. 
Why? Please. Please, no. <laughs> because I killed one chicken. You found it! <laughs> there I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll, I'll never forget. Can you guys can you guys stop this? Weren't we friends? Didn't you introduce me? Those fools are actually fighting. They, they are fools. We were just friends. Can you stop them? I killed one chicken! One chicken. What was floating? Oh, it's a bee. I'm not killing the people of this town. Deer from the Switch Skyrim playthrough. Oh, well, it's an elk. Please, please. Yes. Swim. No, you know what? Didn't glitch. Which kind of like really leads me to believe that the Switch version was just like wrong. Like something was really wrong with it. What's that noise? It was a wolf. Get a little bit of magicka, not too much. A blocking could be done at a later time. Uh, one-handed. We can do a level 30 one-handed thing. Dual wielding attacks are 20% faster. It was fun to dual wield Dawnbreakers. That was a fun glitch. Ten percent chance critical. Um war axes are bleeding. Critical hit damage would be nice. So here it is. This is the, uh, the money shot, they, as they say in the biz. It is anti-aliased to hell and back. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, it's just very soft. Uh... Yeah, it looks good. You can still see the lack of detail, like, this is where things have... ...changed over the years. Oh, jeez. Oh god, Imperial Soldier. Why is everyone trying to kill me? Is this because- it's a, is it because I'm an orc? If you oh. any crew, son. I'm- I'm Imperial, kind of. Not really. Not yet. Join the Stormcloak Rebellion. I was going to go towards the Imperial side. Now I don't know if I want to. Now maybe go fuck yourself. You can still climb that mountain. You see it? Okay. 
fuck happened here? Well, that's taken care of. No thanks to you. I didn't even know what was happening. But a true warrior would have relished the opportunity to take on a giant. That's why I'm here, with my shield brothers. An outsider, eh? Never heard of the Companions? An order of warriors. We are brothers and sisters in honor. And we show up to solve problems if the coin is good enough. Not for me to say. You'll have to talk to Codlac Whitemane up in Yurvaskar. Have I done this? The old man's got a good sense for people. He can look in your eyes and tell your worth. If you go to him, good luck. I don't know if I've done that. I've been looking for you. <laughs> Not something I'm supposed to deliver. There's the Skyrim I know. Looks like that's it. Got to Blood go. Blood on the wind today. Good hunt. Of us. What did I get? Necromancers are experimenting with conjuring zombies using ancient dangerous magic. Irreversible consequences expelled from the studies. Their ambitions grew into folly. A large group of those foul, uncontrollable creatures as we speak. So the most area of Skyrim must be stopped before it's too late. You look strong. Come to your basker and be a companion. Well, that might be, uh... New. I don't know. Could be. Where, where, where did it want me to go? By order of the Yarl, stop right there. Smart man. Now, come along with Don't us. take my stolen take goods. Stolen goods, and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Of course. Well, I'm here. I'm in Whiterun. And it looks, um, looks good. Looks fine. It, it's, <laughs> I don't know, um, uh, I don't know if I would justify this purchase exactly. Okay, now things are good. Now things are good in White Run. Strike me down in your anger. Do it. Nice. I'm gonna go for a little swim too. Hey, oh, that's a nice thing. Really fast loading times. Man, again, it's just going to the PC version from the Switch version is a trip. Well, it's it's certainly Skyrim. I don't know all of the new things. I don't know entirely what's new, but it seemed like maybe one of those things that I got. Like that zombie thing might be new. I don't know. Leave a comment. Let me know. But it's it looks decent sometimes. I don't don't actually like buy it just for the visuals. <laughs> like what are you doing if you're gonna do that? Come on, just mod it. But uh, I guess for someone who's never played Skyrim and they find they want to play Skyrim, th this is fine. And yeah, I, I haven't seen all the new things, so maybe there's there's stuff that I'll enjoy. But yeah. Cool. Well, thank you for watching. Um, time to stop and go to bed. I don't know if I'm feeling wacky. I'll play more of it. I don't think it's going to be as funny, because again, this version seems less glitchy. I'm sure some dumb Skyrim shit will happen, but for the most part, this seemed like a pretty competent playthrough. 
a couple minor glitches, but nowhere near as um, as jank as we've seen in the past. Got some good pieces out here if you're looking to buy. More inside. So, uh, I don't think this will end up becoming another bingo specialty Friday night Skyrim night. But, uh, yeah, maybe I'll play more of it and try to check out a couple new quests or two and find a couple new items and just limited revisit. Skyrim is fun. It's a cool world and, you know, there's obviously lots to make fun of and many memes. But yet, it's always nice to revisit this game and see all the beautiful faces and, uh, and beautiful voices, too. Stop right there. Okay.